Somebody recently gave me a little gateway laptop computer that I'm going to use as a second computer. The only downside is the battery was totally dead. So I go on the gateway website to hunt one down, and I find one, but it's 109 bucks. I wasn't going to pay that much, so I decided to come up with a cheaper alternative. I popped the battery out, and I proceeded to pry it apart gently not to nick it up. When I finally got it open, I found six lithium-ion batteries. After doing a little research, I discovered these are 3.7 volt, 1600 milliamp batteries. I checked the voltage of the batteries, and sure enough, these were dead and would not hold the charge. I found some on the internet that were actually 1630 milliamps. You always want to go higher in milliamps and not lower. Six lithium-ion batteries cost me 37 bucks delivered to my door. Now it's time to change them out. When doing any soldering with lithium-ion batteries, it's very important to be careful and wear safety goggles, because these can't explode. Explode. Carefully unsolder all the wires and make a special note of where they all go. I actually put a little diagram together so I knew the polarity and where all the wires went when I put it back together. First making sure the polarity was correct, I began tinning the tabs, and after both tabs are tinned, they solder together pretty quickly. So I finished building the pack and I put it back in the housing. And now it was time to solder the rest of the wires together. Everything looks good, so I carefully snapped the battery back together again. Slid it back in the laptop, applied power, and I charged it for 18 hours. And it worked. I'm back in business, and I saved 70 bucks. So the next time your laptop battery wears out, you may want to consider hacking it.